Hi and welcome back. In this set of videos we're creating the images for these rollover buttons in our CSS navigation. So, so far we've created the off state graphic, or I'm sorry, we've created the current state graphic. We now need to create the off state and the hover state graphics. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize Dreamweaver, and here I am back in Fireworks. Now again, there are numerous ways to create um, navigation bar buttons inside of Fireworks. Um, I'm doing it one way. This is the way I like to do it. If you have a way that you see that works better for you, no way I think is better than another. But now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to come over here to Pages. And if you can't see the Pages tab right here, you can go to the Window menu and you can turn on Pages from right here. And you're going to see this document just has one page in it right now. I'm going to go ahead and click on the name here, right click on the name here, and I'm going to select Rename. And I'm going to go ahead and call this Current State. Now I need two more states, the Off State and the um, Hover State. And I want the buttons to be exactly the same size. I want the text to be in exactly the same place. And I also want the circles to be in the exact same place. So to make this really easy, all I have to do is right click on this page and say duplicate. And you're going to see it created a second one there. So I can right click and say rename. And this is going to be the hover state. And we'll do this one more time, duplicate page. And this is going to be the off state graphics. So I've got three pages, and right now they're identical because I've just duplicated them. But I'm going to come here to the Hover State button, and when we look at our example, you can see that the colored circle should be filled in, but the color of the, um, the, color of the actual tab needs to be a darker gray. So I'm going to go ahead and change that for each one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and select each one of my buttons there and I'm going to come down here to the fill color and I'm going to select that color of gray so that's going to be the color for my hover state then I'm going to go ahead and come here to the off state and I need to do the exact same thing there's the off state graphic only in this case the off state graphic circle is just filled in with white so let's go ahead and make that change I'm going to go ahead and again select each one of my rectangles here and I'm going to make the color change. I'm going to go ahead and make this um, that color there. And I'm also going to go ahead and select each one of my circles here and I'm going to make the color white. So there are my off state images. So I've got current state, hover state, and off state. Now, once you have your button set up, it's now time to set up the slices for this button. What I'm going to go ahead and do at this point is, I'm going to go ahead and minimize that, and I'm going to say fit canvas here. And what that's going to do is it's going to shrink the canvas down so it's just big enough to hold the content. Now, what slicing does is it allows you to take one image and chop it up into multiple images. And in this case, I need to chop this up into four images. Now, underneath web right here is where your slice tool is. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to draw a box around the area that I want. And I'm using that guide there at the bottom to make sure that I get just the area that I want. And I can see the width of this slice is 100 pixels and the height is 38. And I know from creating my images here that those are also 100 pixels wide. So my slice is just exactly big enough. Now what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it and then just drag it over the other button. Paste it again and just drag it over. Whoops. Just drag it over until you get it in the location that you want. Whoops. There I go with that. And 
you should check each one of these buttons and make sure the Y axis is set for zero. That way it's up at the top. And you should make sure that the height of each one of these, again, is 38, because we need them to be the same for our CSS. So now that I've got these slices set up the way I want, I'm going to go ahead and select them all. And again, I do that just simply by clicking and then holding the Shift key down and clicking on the subsequent graphics that I want. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy them. Just do Control-C. You could also right-click if you wanted to. And I'm going to come over here to my Hover State page. And again, I'm going to say Fit Canvas. And then I'm going to go ahead and do Control V for paste. And you're going to see it paste it pasted those slices in in exactly the same location. That saved me a lot of time. I'm going to come here to the off state graphics, fit my canvas again, and that time you can barely see a difference between the background here and the off state graphics, but it is there. And I'm going to go ahead and um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and make these a little bit lighter so that they stand out a little bit more for us. So I'll select those, and instead of being C's, I'm going to go ahead and make them um, E's. Whoops. That's right, all E's. So that made them a little bit lighter, so you can contrast them. And then I'm going to go ahead and just paste in those slices again, so they're in the exact same location. I'm going to go ahead and save this document before I go any further. And I'm just going to go ahead and save it in a new folder on my desktop. I'm going to go to the desktop here. And this is going to be Fireworks Buttons. And I'm going to go ahead and save this as a PNG file so the individual elements remain the same. And I'm going to go ahead and name this Navbar. Okay, so we have three pages and four slices on each one of the pages. Now, to get these slices out, what you're going to go ahead and do is go to File and select Export. And you're going to use this tool to export the images. Now, when Fireworks exports these images, it's going to name them wherever the slice is named right here. So what I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to name my slices before I go any further. So I'm going to go ahead and click here, and I'm going to name this Home Current, and I'm going to name this one About Current, this one Services Current, and then Contact Current. And I would need to do this for each page. And I use obviously use the word current to indicate the state. So I can now come over to the hover state page, and I can name these slices as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do home hover about hover and then services hover. and contact other. And I actually cheated and did the other ones um, a little bit ago. So now we're going to go ahead and get ready to export these buttons. And we'll do that in the next video.